Hi, this is Dave of L. David Likes Photography. I'm in uh, Photoshop CS5, specifically Bridge, and I'm going to show you how to to crop, batch crop, and output to whatever file size you want without without even going into Photoshop. Otherwise, we're we're going straight from Camera Raw in, uh, to output. Okay, so in this case, I'm going to select four files. Click on the first and the last of four files and hold down the shift key and that selects them right click open in camera raw opens more four images I uh, also want to color correct so I click on the color correct tool I click on either gray black or white in the image she has a gray shirt I click on that it color corrects the image now I want to crop it so I come up to the crop tool Hold down this little arrow before or below the crop tool to open up the settings. You can go to a 1 by 1 ratio, 2 by 3. Uh, 4 by 5 would be the same as an 8 by 10 ratio. But we're going to come into custom. And instead of doing ratio, we're going to do inches. And I'm going to pick 5 by 7 for output in inches. The other thing you need to know uh, this will crop, the tool will crop at 5 by 7 but we also want the output to be, um, if you're at home an inkjet printer you would put 240 which comes standard in Photoshop but for uh, like a lab or you know somewhere Walgreens or somewhere like that would suggest 300 ppi sRGB 8-bit and you can also sharpen so we're going to put some sharpening in here for a glossy paper and I'm going to use standard sharpening. Okay, so now that's going to, when we crop this, uh, it's going to crop at uh, 5 by 7 inch at 300 ppi with some sharpening. Okay, so uh, I've got four images. And in this case, I'm going to do a wide crop so I don't have to really do any changes other than just crop one. And this third image is the one I need to crop because the feet are so close to the bottom. So I'm going to take my crop tool, go all the way down to the bottom, and go as wide as I can with a specific crop. Okay. Okay, then from there, we're um, going to go up to uh, Select All, and hit Synchronize. And from inside to synchronize, you can synchronize everything. There's all different things you can do. You can synchronize just the crop. But we also white balanced. So we want to uh, not only crop, but uh, we also want to select white balance as well. So uh, to do them both at the same time, since those are the only changes we did, we'll, we'll select everything. And OK, and then we hit OK, and automatically, all images are cropped and white balanced. Um, now, since I didn't double click on any one of the images, if you click in here, you'll see that the crops are still open. So if, for example, you want, so I've got them all cropped, and that's going to be our batch crop to output. But let's say if you left these open and you decide you want one that you want to crop a little tighter, you can just go in and and crop it by hand and that specific one will change okay which is a nice feature because uh, it's very easily let's go back up to the top one and say I don't really want that wide of a crop I can come in and change that one as well so all the crops are open uh, the other two are fine so now we go to select all and now we're going to save the images to output um, I've already selected a folder uh, in this case the in folder in my documents uh, you can rename these I'm just going to say the document name which is the original name file extension can be you can convert these to JPEGs, TIFFs, PSDs, DNG um, we're going to pick JPEG and maximum resolution output and so I just hit save if you look down in here in the bottom you can see this little circular arrows as it's saving the images and cropping them and white balancing them all at the same time and this is really nice because with camera Adobe Camera Raw you can 
do all these different things and synchronize uh, just based off of one image, which saves you tons of time. Okay, so uh, not even if you want to save your crops on those specific images, it's non-destructive, so it doesn't matter. But uh, if you didn't want to save the original crops that you just made, you would hit cancel. But I'm going to click done, and that will save the crops. So now these, you can see these files are saving at the new crop. Okay, and that's the way they they'll look. But you can you can change that later. But anyway, let's go ahead and look at our output files, which are going to be over in Documents, and look down the folder to In, and here are my four cropped images, uh, and they're all saved uh, at. Uh, if you want to go down here, you can see they're saved at 300 ppi, and the dimensions are five by seven for each one of these. So they've all been saved, all been cropped, and all been white balanced. It's a big time saver uh, if you shoot uh, in Camera Raw. And if not, you can still open these files. You can either open a JPEG or a TIFF file and still open those in Adobe Camera Raw. So you can, you can make uh, batch cropping on those as well. Big time saver. That's my tip. Thanks for watching. I'm Dave L. David Likes Photography. Bye-bye.